Okay, so today I'm gonna make a, a zipper co part uh, two video. Um, Aru asked, uh, you know, I hope I pronounced that well. Uh, not, sorry, uh, but Aru asked uh, some really intelligent questions and also uh, spotted a, a kill for white in the game. Uh, I'm you know, looking at, we'll go back to the game later on, and there was a white uh, white kill against uh, one of Black's uh, groups. And uh, but yeah, uh, first off, you know, just a little bit of a, a definition of you know what a zipper co is. Uh, basically, I was you know define like a zipper co as a co which produces another co, which produces another co. And basically, you know, it has the potential, sort of like a ladder, you know, it's kind of a force sequence on the board. It's, it's a co which forces another co, which forces another co. And once, once you start the sequence, it's hard to, to disengage. So um, in this case, uh, we've initiated uh, the zipper co, and it's, you know, it's uh, at each point difficult to disengage once you've started uh, the zipper co. Uh, and, you know, it's kind of... Uh, a word play like you know a, a zipper on a jacket you know kind of keeps going so that's kind of the the word play of that um i'd heard somebody refer to this as a zipper co i don't know you know if there's any books that's a zipper co but um basically it's you know sort of like a zipper you know co which produces a co which produces a co and um uh, sort of a fight which once you get engaged it's hard to disengage um and uh there was another question you know What's the proper response when a zipper co is offered? Um, do you tanuki? Do you cut through? Uh, you know, I suppose could you dodge? I mean, I think it's all contextual. I mean, and if for I had done, uh, you know, kind of tujo uh where it could occur off of, and also um, I probably put those in a full board context of where you know where these uh, joseki might make sense uh, in this sort of situation. You know, Black would be playing this sort of idea when he's got a wall to build off. Um, and actually, you know, I you know briefly mentioned that this move is a, a little bit suspect for Black. Um, what Black's trying to do is stay ahead of White and kind of trick White. Um, really, what what White should just kind of do in this sort of scenario is just kind of dodge out. Um, the corner is now settled, and and um, you know, there's a potential cut for a White later. Uh, so cutting a day, so, you know, in this sort of situation, I think it, you know, if White's just patient, uh, that will uh, work well for, for White. You know, and I can, uh, I think, uh, in this case, uh, still being patient works well for White. Um, sliding makes the corner invulnerable, you know, and then sometime in the future, uh, white can again cut, and uh, you know those black, three black stones at some point could come under some pressure. So I think you know in this sort of situation, you know, white being patient is helpful. In some situations, a cut will be helpful. Um, in some situations, you know, um, playing elsewhere will be helpful. So I, you know, it's all kind of contextual uh, depending on the nature of the fight. You know, certainly I think you know. Uh, tanuki, in this sort of case, it's, it's a lot uh, for White to do. Uh, those stones are under a lot of pressure. Uh, the White corner, uh, Black's wall is very thick. So this is a sort of situation where a Tanuki uh, might not be such a good option. It, you know, it feels that that's a pretty cr critical situation for White um, and a really good result for Black. And again, you know, cut through uh, looks instantly to you know, in the very near term to be too much. Feels like, uh, you know, White's, you know, biting off more than, than White can choose. So in a situation like this, I think, you know, either Tanuki or cutting through kind of feel overplayed, just being patient in this sort of case. Um, you know, the another Joseki we were looking at, um, this is the sort of thing that occurs off of Sanran say. So you got a Sanran say and an approach and then black Tanukis. And so this is kind of where um, we get a very legitimate cut through because uh, we get a lot of weak stones developing. So obviously, you know, going back to, to what should not happen, why should not allow the zipper co. 
um, especially in context, you can see why this is not really something that white would want to allow. Um, so definitely not really a great idea for white to allow a zipper co in this sort of uh, scenario. Uh, but in this scenario, you know, uh, I don't think white needs to be patient. Uh, there's enough enough help nearby. Um, enough help that uh, I mean, basically we had a scenario where we got a lot of weak stones. I mean, obviously the the white corner, um, you know, is safe. Uh, but you know, all the black uh, mark stones are in danger a little bit to some degree or another, and, and the white stones are also in danger. So you know, we get a very large scale fight. You know, and into you know probably something like white will pull out the S14 stone. I'm not sure uh, the exact placement, uh, but you know, we get a, a very very large scale fight developing and. Um, you know, I don't think anyone's really in danger, but there's a lot of weakness all over the place. Uh, so uh, this is a very uh, legitimate fight for for white to cut through. Um, you know, sort of tanuki idea. In this case, uh, the local situation is so critical that a tanuki uh, would would just be a bad idea. You know, if we get like an extra move in here. Uh, the, the the balance of the fight is completely different, and I think you know black has a huge advantage in this fight. So uh, this is a situation which is um, large scale and a critical. It's a just a fight that um, neither side can back down from. Uh, so white can't play passively; he does have to cut, and um, you know I can't Tanuki. Uh The game, you know, situation. I, let's go to that. Uh, this is the game. In this one, you know, I'd say uh, this is probably a situation where uh, White should have never maybe even gotten himself into this one. I think, you know, uh, just the cutting through instantly, it's uh, a bit of a lack of patience. I don't think that, um, in essence, you know, the t first Tanuki should have been here. You know, White should have just, you know, taken this or some other big point on the board and never even... I uh, got into a cut, but uh, certainly I think, you know, extending is better than playing out the the zipper co. But even still, I, I feel this fight is a little a little off for white to be playing in. Um, so a Tanuki uh, would keep the Aji well. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's to add a move black in the upper side uh, could easily become out of place. It feels kind of slow. So, you know, maybe a wait and see approach and then um, some sort of extending move at one of these points uh, might feel good for for white. A wait and see approach, or just kind of hold the Aji and don't um, don't get in, involved in a fight, uh, which is uh, disadvantageous. Uh, so anyway, and then uh, there was mentioned there was a kill in there. So let's go there. Uh, so, in the game, White played here, uh, and it, it fills one of White's own liberties. And so, you know, uh, you know, Rude spot that this move uh, doesn't fill one of White's liberties. And you know, I spent a while looking through, and I couldn't find any variation where Black actually lives. So, I'll just show you one that the variation was a little harder to kill for White. But even still, you can kind of see it's not that hard because um, basically the idea is to use some of those those zipper codes um, as a little bit of liberty um, and obviously black ends up behind uh, you know a little bit on that so uh, doesn't work for, for for black so obviously when black uh, realizes he's behind uh, black can dodge and you know I mean obviously it, uh, the game you know we had kind of gone over some of the parts of it um, even still I think here uh, black is in a pretty good shape um, you know, and just having played out the zipper co a few times, even though white gets that kill on those stones, uh, black is still feeling pretty good about the game. Um, but certainly, it's, this is much more playable for white. White has a chance to come back. It's not over by any means. Uh, those are some follow-up thoughts, and, and hopefully that um, gives some clarity for today. And see you next time.